Do you hear that? Whose voice is that? Hey everybody, Father Cristino Bouvet here, and this is Trail Mix with Pure Witness Ministries. Whose voice are you hearing? That's a really hard question for us to discern these days. Part of the problem is there are too many voices. I think for a very long history of the life of our Christian faith, People basically had a select few voices to listen to in their life because people had limited access to other opportunities. You had your parents, some siblings, maybe a teacher or two, your parish priest. But now, without ceasing, 24-7, there are voices coming at us, speaking every imaginable position And it makes it very difficult for us to quiet out all of those voices that are not helpful, some that are even harmful, which we should not be listening to, in order to find the voice of the Good Shepherd, the one and only voice which we must listen to. This theme of the voice is so important. When you think about God, In the book of Genesis, when he creates the whole universe, it says that he speaks and it comes into being. That is the power of God. That God conceives of something, he speaks it, and in speaking it, it happens. And we know that the word that he speaks is Christ. That's why we call him the Word. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God speaks and it comes into being. The eternal Son of the Father who existed before all ages at a moment in time at the sound of the angel's voice filled Mary's womb and the Word became flesh. Therefore, there was only one voice that truly matters, there is only one voice which we must listen to, and that is the voice of God, the voice of our Good Shepherd. Now we know that he speaks through many other voices. Primarily, he is supposed to speak through the voice of his church. And even then, we know that at times, there are certain voices in the church that can confuse us or discourage us or even lead us astray. So what are we to do? How are we to know when we are hearing the true voice for which we are listening, the true voice of the Good Shepherd? There are a couple of things that we should keep in mind. The first is, what is my instinctive reaction to what I am hearing? There is a term that we use in the tradition of the church called the sensus fidelium, the sense of the faithful. Some have described this as a Catholic instinct. That we hear something and right away we have a reaction to it. Does it rub me the wrong way? Does it make me say, hmm, is that right? Do we believe that? Have I ever heard that before? We need to pay attention to that instinct. Now, I'm not saying that that instinct alone will tell you what is right and what is wrong, but we should pay attention to the instinct. What is stirred up within me when I hear something? When I hear truth, when I hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's challenging me, something within us should say, hmm, I think that's true. That resonates with me. The next thing we could ask ourselves is what role is fear playing in what I'm hearing? 
Fear is not from God. When we respond in fear to something, when whatever we hear stirs up within us a response of fear or a response of outrage, chances are we are not hearing the voice of the Good Shepherd. Fear and outrage, these are reactions that are unbecoming of us. Even when we hear something that should righteously make us angry, to have this outrage that wells up within us, again, that is not from God. If we are hearing something to which we should forcefully respond, we will know that a conviction deepening and growing within me that says, this is not right, this should be opposed, it will be moderated by love. It will be moderated by the desire to do what is right. Then we will hear and know we have heard the voice of the Good Shepherd. If I could give one final piece of advice, it would be to limit the voices that you're hearing. If you are spending constant time on social media, never-ending podcasts, constant streams of YouTube videos, you're hearing too many voices. We need to make sure that every day, without exception, there is time spent in quiet where we are exclusively seeking to listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd who will not fill us with fear, who will not fill us with outrage, but who will gently and quietly whisper to us the truth. And we will know it is true because it will resonate in our soul. There will be a harmony and we will say, I believe I have heard the voice of the Good Shepherd. And so my friends, keep listening, keep praying. And when you hear truth, you will know that you have heard the voice of the Good Shepherd. God bless you. <laughs>